Hi guys, welcome back. So I'm back today with another follow look for you guys. Initially, this was just gonna be an eyebrow tutorial uh, requested by Hey Miss Parker on Instagram. So shout out to you, I told you I got you. But I decided to just go ahead and do a full face tutorial. So I really hope you guys like it. And without further ado, if you like this look and you wanna see how I achieved it, just keep watching. All right guys, first things first, let's get into these eyebrows, shall we? So my eyebrows are tattooed, yes, tattooed. This is what the tattoo looks like. Um, it has faded over the course of some years, so I just draw over the tattoo. I'm going in with Milk of Magnesia just to make sure that my brows stay nice and matte throughout the day. Next, going in with this NK Lip Liner. Um, it is a lip liner, but I like to use it for my brows. So I'm just going to trace the outline of my brow and then go back and fill it in. Now, of course, you don't have to be as heavy-handed as I am. Um, I actually like a nice dramatic brow, but if you're going for something a little more natural looking, you could just lightly fill in your natural brow and then just follow the rest of the steps from there. But I have to cover the tattoo, so I'm just going to go in a little bit heavy handed. Next, using this foundation by Maybelline, I'm going to use this to clean up the underside of the brow. So where the lip liner may have smudged a little bit, this will help to clean it up and make it a little bit more sharp. I'm going to do the same thing to the top of the brow and just pull the foundation upward. Next, I'm going in with a little bit of concealer just to highlight the brow. Now, be careful with applying concealer because it is not camera friendly. <laughs> So beware a flash of a camera because it's not attractive. Trust me, been there, done that. So I'm just going to apply just a little tiny bit and then just pull it down. Now, I also like for my eyebrows to kind of have a little bit of a gradient effect and fade at the start of the brow. So right at that start, I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer there. Then going into this 3D face creator, I'm going to take a lighter brown and just apply that right next to, uh, or in between rather, the eyeliner and the concealer that we laid down just to help it have a little bit more of a gradient effect. And there you have it, brows snatched. Next, I'm using this primer by e.l.f. and I'm gonna use this to prime my skin. Then I'm gonna go back into a little bit more of the Milk of Magnesia and apply that to my skin just to help it stay matte. I'm just applying that in the places that I normally get oily. Then I'm gonna go back to that same Maybelline foundation and apply that all over my face and then use this Real Techniques foundation brush to blend it out. Next, going in with this NYX eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna use these two shades here as my transition color. And I'm gonna apply that a little bit above the crease of my eye and just pull it out a little bit. Next, using a different palette, I'm going to use this burgundy shade here and apply that right in the crease of my eye. Now, the outer corner, I'm going to go back and drag that out a little bit and then go back into the transition color again and apply that right where that burgundy stops just to make sure that there's no harsh line there. Next, I'm using this uh, bronzing kit that I actually picked up at a hair store. I like that shimmer shade, so I'm just going to use it as a eyeshadow, actually, and apply that right on the lid. Then going into this liquid metal dark brown shade by Catrice, I'm going to apply that right on the outer corner of the eye and blend it a little bit up into the crease. Now 
Then I'm going to go back with that burgundy again just to blend out that brown and make sure that it fades into the burgundy very seamlessly. Next, using this gel eyeliner by Maybelline, I'm going to use that to line my eyes. My camera actually died right here. And I didn't realize it, so it didn't catch me um, applying the liner, but you guys have seen that already. Next, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Then I'm going to go in with this uh, mascara by Rimmel to coat my lashes. Then I'm going in with these false lashes by Lily Lashes. I believe this is in the style Mucinose, but I'll put it in the description box because I'm not sure. But this is one eye done. And this is how it looks with both eyes done. Next, using this concealer by Revlon, I'm going to use this right underneath my eyes. Also down the center of my nose. My forehead. A tiny bit on my jawline. And my chin. Then I'm going to go back with this beauty blender and blend it out. Then going back to the 3D face creator, I'm going to use the darker brown shade. And I'm going to use that to contour. So I'm going to place that in the hollows of my cheeks. Also along the outer parts of my face. And also underneath my jawline as well to help carve out my jaw. I'm also going to apply it along the sides of my nose. Next, using this setting powder by NYX, I'm going to use this to set the concealer. Next, going into this Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, I'm going to use Havana, and I'm going to use that powder to set the contour. After that's set for a minute, I'm going to go back with the foundation brush again with no extra product on it. I'm just going to brush away all of that powder that we just laid down. Now going back to the eyes, I'm going to use the same brown shade that we applied in the outer corner of the eye. I'm going to use that on my lower lid as well. Then I'm going to go back to the gel eyeliner by Maybelline. and I'm going to place that right in my waterline and then pull it down into that brown shade. Then going back to that mascara by Rimmel, I'm going to apply that to my lower lashes. Then on the lips, I'm going in with color Nude Rose by Ruby Kisses. This also will look nice with like maybe a grape or uh, a burgundy color or a dark brown. But on myself, I like nude lips, so I'm just going to stick with nude. Then I'm going in with this highlight by Ruby Kisses. I'm going to apply that on the high points of my face, my cheekbones down the center of my nose, and also my cupid's bow. Also my brow bone. And there you have it. Our look is complete. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If so, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, guys. Oh, tutorial. Oh my God, seriously? So. So I really hope you
So I really hope you guys enjoy.